Good afternoon. Welcome to the second of our Faculty of Community Studies virtual open events. Uh, in this session, we're going to be looking at all of the courses within hair and beauty, hospitality and catering, business and travel and tourism. We've got a video that will take you through the different courses uh, with the tutors discussing what's involved, entry requirements and everything else you might need to know. And then they're on hand at the end to then answer any questions you may have uh, if it hasn't been covered in the video. So sit back, relax and enjoy and enjoy the show. Hello, may I extend a warm welcome to Herefordshire and Ludlow College. My name is Alison Moon and I am the assistant principal of one of the two faculties based at the Hereford campus. Welcome to the Faculty of Community Studies. You will be greeted by the managers that lead the various courses and they in turn will introduce you to the course leaders. The courses we offer cover beauty, hairdressing, catering and hospitality, travel and tourism, business studies, access to HE, supporting teaching and learning, sport, public services, childcare and health and social care. We offer you the opportunity to study any one of these full-time courses along with a full tutorial programme to support your needs and the opportunity to reset GCSE Maths and English. Before we move on, I just want to tell you some of the reasons you may wish to study with us. We have an Ofsted pass rate of 93%. We have excellent physical resources. We offer a friendly, safe and open environment. We have lecturers with real world experiences. Added to that, we have students who have said that we are 93% making good progress. They also say 94% of them enjoy their lessons. 97% say their teachers encourage them to work hard and behave well. 95% say they receive good support from their teachers. 97% say they know how they are expected to behave. And 92% say, say they would recommend the college to a friend. So collect your questions and sit back as we welcome you to see what we have on offer in our dynamic. My name's John Britton, I'm a curriculum team leader at the college. The area I look after is business and commercial. The subjects that are in my area are creative crafts, beauty and holistic, hairdressing and barbering, catering and hospitality, travel and tourism, accountancy and business studies, team leading, management and business administration. The majority of courses in the area are full time. We do have a selection of part time courses as well and there's a whole host of apprenticeships that people might be interested in as well. I think the teaching staff are absolutely fantastic, so are the assessors and the technician support as well. I'm very lucky to have a, a whole team of dedicated, enthusiastic and highly professional staff that are committed to helping students achieve as highly as they possible, possibly can. The staff in the area have, have a wealth of industry experience and that coupled with the teaching experience that they've got uh, means that students do achieve as highly as they possibly can. The staff are also there to support you as well. Uh, you may need some support when, when things perhaps aren't going so well, maybe personally or, or socially. The physical resources that we have at the college I think are absolutely amazing. Some of them in, from my area you, you perhaps may have seen, the, uh, the Cider Orchard restaurants, the, the Eden salons for hairdressing and beauty. There's a whole host of classrooms, every single classroom actually is fully equipped um, to deal and to actually deliver teaching and learning activities to a very, very high level. So we're very, very lucky. It's our ultimate aim really as, as staff uh, to help students develop the knowledge, the understanding, the technical skills to be able to make the, the next step to, to HE into industry potentially. Uh, with as much confidence as possible and actually enter it fully equipped uh, to, to progress their career well. Thank you very much. Good afternoon everybody, I'm Katie Churchill and I'm the course tutor for Level 2 Beauty Therapy. Thank you so much for joining our virtual event today. Sorry I couldn't meet you all individually but hopefully this video will give you an insight into the fantastic courses we have to offer. Our courses start at Level 2 with the recommendation that you progress on to Level 3 Beauty Therapy or Level 3 Massage Therapies here at Herefordshire and Ludlow College. By progressing to Level 3, it will provide you with the more employability skills and give you a wider range of options in your career choices. 
This can then lead you on to further progression into makeup artistry, theatrical makeup, taking you as far as level four spa management. The courses we offer are substantial vocational qualifications and we provide excellent facilities that simulates a real working salon environment. It gives you a first class experience of what will be expected from you when you go out into industry. This is designed so that you will enter industry excelling in your skills and your confidence. You should be able to see on the screen now the units included with each of the courses that we offer. The first course that we offer is the Level 2 MVQ Diploma Beauty Therapy General. This course we offer both full-time and part-time. So the full-time course is specifically designed for 16 to 19 age group and the part-time is aimed towards your learners 19 plus. The Level 2 um, Makeup course we offer this one at full-time. The practical units you can see on there now uh, we give demonstrations within the salon environment. You get to practice on your peers until you have reached a very high standard and you are ready to carry your practical assessments on external clients to a competent level. The theory side of the course, we teach you all the underpinning knowledge, the understanding of each treatment and topic, along with anatomy and physiology. On top of that, you'll have external examinations to sit and assignments to complete. Now, the entry requirement for this course for maths and English is a grade three and above and you are required to carry out 40 hours of work experience. We organise educational trips throughout the year. We take you to the beauty show at the NEC and also a visit to a spa. We try to offer as many workshops to you throughout the year as well at an extra cost. Some examples of these could be spray tanning, eyelash listing, lifting, and we also have guest speakers. Now our career opportunities, our course provides you a gateway, a gateway to a phenomenal career. So whether you are looking to set up your own business, work in some of the world's most desirable salons, spas or health farms, or even head for the experience of life at sea on the cruise ships. Now many of our students have gone on to life changing careers within the industry. So if this course does appeal for you, then Herefordshire College welcomes you. Thank you so much for your time and I will look forward to any further questions you may have. Hello and welcome. My name is Jill Hughes and I'm one of the hairdressing tutors at Hereford Ludlow College. I'd just like to give you an overview of the hairdressing department. We have a fabulous hairdressing salon, fully equipped with 21 stations for our students to use and we um, encourage the general public to come into the salon to have various services done using professional products. You have two different pathways. You have a full-time course across three different levels. This promotes progression. You also have the apprenticeship route, which you would get a job in a hairdressing salon and then come to college one day a week. The full-time level one course, um, this consists of basic hairdressing skills, learning how to shampoo, condition hair, um, style hair, also assisting with colour services. You also have an intro to the hair and beauty sector, which includes nail art and creating a hair and beauty image. This is done through themed um, competitions, um, for instance, Halloween and um, an ascot competition, which is quite it's a good fun. Once completing this level one course, you will be a qualified salon assistant. Then we have the level two full-time programme. On this you really get a, a wonderful knowledge of um, the skills needed to work in a real hairdressing salon. So this is done through um, the, the students doing assessments on fee paying clients that come into our salon. Uh, and this ranges from styling to cutting the hair also to colouring the hair which you learn how to foil put foils in also free hand uh, techniques as well um, at the end of this one year level two course you will be a qualified junior stylist 
then there is the chance to progress to the level three advanced hairdressing course. Um, now on this you will learn how to do advanced hair cutting techniques. This includes um, asymmetric cuts, undercuts, long and short graduation, as well as learning how to cut with a razor. You also learn advanced colouring techniques as well. This will include slicing, weaving, balayage, baby lights and freehand techniques. Other units in the level 3 um, advanced hairdressing course are bridal hair. Here you'll learn how to do classic and contemporary looks. Also um, a creative hairdressing unit as well. This you'll use your imagination um, in creating an individual look, creating a classic and avant-garde looks. You will also learn how to put extensions in the hair and how to perm the hair as well. So you really get um, a wide range of advanced services learnt in this qualification. Um, you will also produce images um, so that you can do photographic work, competition and showcases. On completion of this level, you will be a level 3 stylist. As I mentioned to you before, we have a fully equipped um, hair salon uh, where you will um, uh, learn all the different hairdressing techniques. You will have your own kit to use. Um, and also a uniform to wear so that you can um, look professional with your clients at all times. Um, it also, the, the hairdressing department, it also not only will you learn the practical skills, but you'll also learn the art of good communication, um, how to be professional amongst clients, um, and to generally learn all those valuable um, techniques. You, can, you will be using um, the clients to do your assessments on. Also you will be practicing on your peers um, and on training heads through all the levels um, on the full-time course. You will also be doing your theory work. This is um, theory um, understanding the knowledge of all practical services. We're also very fortunate to have guest speakers that come into the college, um, particularly um, Patrick Cameron came um, and hosted an open event which was very exciting, um, which all our students were able to attend and also it was open to salon owners as well. Um, this was him, Patrick Cameron showcasing his uh, latest techniques. He, who's an, he's an international um, stylist. So once you've qualified into hairdressing, there are many progression routes. You could work in a salon, you become a freelance stylist, um, or you could even work on a cruise ship. So I'd like to thank you for joining uh, me today. Um, and if you'd like any more information, please attend one of our open events um, or you can apply online um, and we can do a one-to-one -one interview um, so we can answer any of your questions. Thank you very much. Bye. Hello, I'm Stuart Cottrell and I'm course tutor for hospitality and catering and I'm going to give you an overview of what our vocational subject area can offer you. Firstly, our courses are designed for learners that wish to pursue a career in what is a very exciting and diverse industry, whether you want to own your own catering business, work as a chef, go into management, or be customer facing, our study programmes and real work environment are tailored to help you achieve the qualifications and experience needed to succeed in a career within the industry. We offer three levels of qualification, both in food and beverage service, as well as professional cookery. The experience and teaching you receive at Herefordshire Ludlow College are enhanced by the high standard of modern equipment available in our two commercial kitchens, along with a popular cider orchard restaurant, which offers you the chance to develop your skills in many different roles in a real work setting. You'll have the opportunity to prepare, cook and serve food for the public, as well as develop your own culinary skills, working in our skills kitchen, performing such tasks as making bread, stocks, soups, sauces and pastry, amongst other things. 
In the restaurant, you'll be taught how to operate a licensed bar, develop your barista skills, handle cash, provide personal service as, as a waiter within the restaurant. It's a course that not only, not only provides you with the practical skills, but also enables you to grasp the theory behind the industry. As you develop your skills, you'll be assessed either in a practical setting or through tests and assignments. You'll be supported through this by a team of expert teachers who share a wealth of knowledge and experience of having worked in the industry. Aside from gaining practical tuition in college, you'll have the opportunity to gain some work experience in the industry as well. With our business contacts, there'll be a chance for you to impress locally or nationwide. Working at events such as the Cheltenham Gold Cup, preparing and serving food and drink to on occasion celebrities is a fantastic experience for you to embrace the excitement in the world of hospitality. We run competitions among students within college or nationally for a chance for you to impress your teachers, your family, fellow students and industry representatives. And as I said earlier, we offer three levels of qualification, so completing a level one course can lead to levels two and three over what would be a three year period. The first two weeks will see you work towards gaining both pro cookery and food and beverage service qualifications, whilst at level three you can opt to focus on either front or back of house, or if you really want to challenge yourself, you could do both. You may wish to advance to higher education and complete a degree in areas such as culinary arts or hospitality management. Gaining the level three qualification with us provides a platform for extended studies. If you're keen to join the industry after level one, we can support you through an apprenticeship. We remain connected to many employers locally, allowing for you to take this route if you prefer. The valuable experience learned from working in the industry is enhanced by day release to college where you can gain the next level qualification. Your journey through college will also be supported and enhanced by visits to key local businesses, some of which are owned by former catering students. You'll get the opportunity to visit local breweries, vineyards and coffee roasting businesses. We also call upon local chefs, mixologists and wine experts to come into college to add value and support to your learning experience. That experience is important to you and it's important to us. So we believe that our department has the learning environment to provide you with the best resources in order to achieve this. Hi, my name's Charlotte and I'm a lecturer for Travel and Tourism. Just going to give you today a little insight of what we offer for our courses here at Hereford and Ludlow College. So we offer a level two course that's over one year. It has two exams and the rest is through assessment, which is role plays, presentations, um, team building and written work. This will cover units such as cruise, marketing, hospitality. We'll be looking at working as a travel agent, working as you know an overseas holiday rep, for example. Um, and you'll look at worldwide and UK destinations. The, we build on your transferable skills to help you go either straight into employment or for you to move on to level three. For level three, this is a two year course and we're really excited to be able to offer the RQF through Pearson this year. It's starting with um, a new a qualification and this qualification will consist of one exam and one through controlled assessment and the rest again is through presentation, role plays and we do expect quite a lot of written work. The units we'll be covering are airline passengers, we'll be looking at passenger transport, um, global destinations, and we'll be covering a vast variety of all different types of industry within the tourism world. For tourism, you do build on a lot of skills through customer service, face-to-face, -face, getting confident in presentation work, etc. And these skills are transferable to take you well into the industry, either within tourism or within business or the retail sector. Lots of our learners go on to um, higher education and go on to do study degrees in tourism management, cruise management, um, even working as um, airport managers. We have um, lots of guest speakers pop in and see us, ex-students who currently work as cabin crew for British Airways for example and we have people who are currently studying at university who come and tell you what their uni life experience is like since leaving our travel and tourism course and it's nice to always get to see some of our ex-students as well. For the course, of course, no course would be a course on travel and tourism without having some trips. So we do do offer trips through the UK and to Europe, and we do offer worldwide destinations. For level two, you go to Dublin and some UK um, places like theme parks, Roman baths, and we do Cardiff. 
And then for the level three, we do the same UK destinations, but we also cover over two years, Portugal and Spain, which is compulsory to Europe. And then we have actually visited New York and LA. Um, and we hope that you, you know, would be interested in joining us and traveling with us. For jobs in the industry, lots of people go into either hotel, working in the hotel industry, working as cabin crew, working in airports as check-in staff, um, working as a travel agent, um, holiday rep, working in the cruise industry. But you can also um, build on these skills to work in so many different sectors. So it is a really good base to start with. Um, we do say that tourism is regional, it's national and international, and it's such a vast area of employment. So if you're interested, I suggest that you fill out an application form and um, we'll give you an interview. And we hope that we'd, you'd be joining us in September or even the following year. We'll be offering lots more open days and you're more than welcome to contact us and ask us more questions. And thank you for listening. If you are interested in the world of business, then one of our business programmes might be right for you. We run two programmes at the Hereford campus, a level two and a level three course. The level two course is one year and is equivalent to GCSE level. And the level three course is two years and is equivalent to three A levels. For this course, you will actually work towards a foundation diploma in the first year and then top this up in year two by working towards the final extended diploma. For the level two course, you will cover a range of modules that underpin many areas of business. For example, you will investigate your own business idea and assess whether it might be worth pursuing this in the future. You will also learn how to produce a range of business documents, such as a business plan, agendas, minutes of meetings, and health and safety risk assessments. You will also learn how to work effectively in a team and prepare and stage an event together, which might be a fundraising event for a local charity. You will also learn how to plan the event using project management tools and techniques, for example, producing project plans and carrying out business meetings to help prepare for the event. You will also prepare for your future by conducting some career planning. Achieving this qualification effectively will enable you to progress into an appropriate level three course the following year or maybe into an apprenticeship. So for the level three business course, you will cover six to seven modules of learning each year. In year one, you will learn about different types of businesses, both profit and non-profit making, and what makes them successful. For example, you might decide to examine large businesses such as Amazon or Apple, or local charities such as St Michael's Hospice or the Little Princess Trust. You will start to develop your own business idea. You will learn skills in market research and marketing tools and techniques by developing a marketing campaign for your business idea. You will learn about personal and business finance, including some accountancy and how these relate to real life businesses and your own personal situation. You will also learn how to produce a range of financial documents such as cash flow forecasts and financial statements. You will finally develop project management and event management skills by preparing and managing an end of year showcase event to showcase your learning over the year. In year two, this steps up to a more management level where, where you will learn about management principles 
and how to make the best decisions as a manager in industry. You will also study international business and the advantages and challenges of trading internationally. You will carry out a week of work experience in industry to give you some ideas about what you might want to do in the future. Some examples might be in law or accountancy firms, the NHS, marketing departments of businesses, estate agents and local schools if you are planning to move into teaching. And the same as with level two, you will carry out a range of career planning to help you make decisions about your future, whether this be university, employment or an apprenticeship. A large number of students decide to progress onto university and these include universities such as Bristol, Liverpool, Exeter, Manchester, besides the more local universities such as Worcester. University courses that students have progressed onto include business and management, marketing, law, criminology, international business, economics and politics. To help enrich your experience on the course, you will also carry out a range of visits to help put your learning into context. Recent trips have included to Jaguar Land Rover to examine the effectiveness of their sleek business operations, Cadbury's to examine their marketing approaches, Amazon to examine their efficient distribution processes, and London to observe court cases at the Supreme Court and learn about the workings of the Royal Courts of Justice and central government at the Houses of Parliament. You will be taught by a range of business tutors who are professionals in their field. We look forward to welcoming you to the team and helping you prepare for your career in business. Okay, so that's a fairly comprehensive overview of the courses on offer in this, these particular areas. Um, if there's any further questions, please feel free to post those in the, the Q&A section uh, that you can see. Uh, we've got a couple of questions just to reach out to the tutors with at the moment. Um, Stuart, if I could start with you first, uh, a couple of questions around catering. I'll just pop you on screen. Um, so in terms of the actual sort of time spent at college, what, what does a typical week look like for students? So with uh, any of the uh, first and second level courses, it's a full time program. So uh, you're in college Monday to Friday. Uh, Monday is generally spent doing all of the theory work that's uh, involved within the industry. Um, and the, the remaining four days are a combination of learning um, independent kitchen skills, along with either working in our real work environments, so that's a cider orchard restaurant, so working uh, from what we call front of house, learning your food and beverage service skills or uh, working in the kitchen. So you're basically cooking for the public within that restaurant. So it's a combination of ind independent learning in terms of your kitchen skills uh, or working as a team, either in the restaurant kitchen, front of house in the restaurant uh, and combined with that is your full day of theory on a Monday. So it's a Monday to Friday course. OK, brilliant. And in, in terms of equipment, is there anything you that you sort of expect students to be, have to buy for themselves or? Yeah, so so for all first year students, there will be a requirement to uh, purchase the, the full uniform uh, that's needed for the course, both both front and back of house, uh, along with uh, a set of kitchen knives. So we use a company called Nisbet. So uh, it's a standard order that all students have to order uh, prior to joining the course and that will equip uh, equip you with full chef's whites, uh, kitchen knives, textbooks, along with the uh, the front of house uniform, which is your your waiter's uniform and the uniform required to work behind the bar, etc. OK. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, Charlotte, if we move on to travel and tourism next. Um, so hi there. Uh, so you, 
obviously in the video discussed sort of the general topics of study. Um, what do students feel is sort of the, the best topics that they get to study, other than obviously places before they visit them? It's, well, it's a total mix. Sometimes they, um, they'll they come on the course with a career in, say, an air cabin crew or they want to work on a cruise ship and then they start to fall in love with certain units like marketing or researching like um, the environment and sustainability. So that can change their career path with, along the first or second year of what they're you know, hoping to study. Um, they might look at overseas management and, and, they, and then even into the hotel industry. So with the course, we cover so many units, it really gives you a great idea of the whole travel and tourism industry as a whole. So we do snapshots all the time. So, you know, it does change what the people's views when they can. They actually, you know, like I said, they fall in love with certain units. Yeah. OK, uh, we just had a question come through um, live. Someone asking uh, how many days a week are you in college for uh, level three travel and tourism? Level three, we're in um, probably it's three full days and that includes if, the, if they happen to study um, GCSE maths and English it comes part of the timetable they're actually full days and then the one day that there's one day that we expect them to be studying um, and doing coursework and then one day we're hoping that actually they're starting to go into the workplace and working with customers and get a job um, but it will be definitely three full days and depending on when we've done the timetable it could even work out to three and a half. Yeah okay great thank you. Uh, Lisa, if I bring you in to talk about business. Yes. As soon as the technology catches up, there we go. Um, is there any exams involved in business? Yes, so for, for the two courses, so for level two, there'll be a finance um, exam and a marketing exam, and they will be in January and February of the one year course. And for level three, there are two exams each year. So in year one, you have a finance and a marketing exam, and they're at the end uh, of year one in the May. And in year two, because it's more of a management year, you will have two management exams, a principles of management and business decision making. And those we take in January of the second year. But uh, nothing to worry about. We do lots of practice and lots of mocks. Brilliant. <laughs> OK. Um, and in, in terms of the, the setup of, of the course, similar question to um, shout really was, so how many days a week is the course? Is it three days as well or? Yeah, it's a qu it's three days, equivalent of three days, and that will vary each year. And the timetable for those three years is de determined in the summer prior to the start in September. So that will become clearer during enrolment at the end of August, beginning of September. But yes, currently three days a week. OK, brilliant. Thank you. Uh, Jill, if we can uh, ask a couple of questions about hairdressing, if that's possible. Uh, so we've had a, a live question come through um, just asking about the cost of equipment on hairdressing. Um, just, just any information on that, please? Yes, um, there it is. Um, the, you have to have some kits for the hairdressing. This is usually a hairdressing kit. £300 to get this um, or if you're over 19 you could apply for um, a 19 plus bursary to help you pay with the cost of this. The kit, the kit includes everything that you will need for hairdressing, hair dryer or other electrical equipment, scissors, combs. Um, it's a kit that will last you for a long time to further your career. Excellent. OK, um, and there's it, maybe a silly question, but how long is it between sort of starting the course that someone may be working on a real person, as it were? <laughs> OK, so we have uh, level one. Your 
peers and then you can move on to practicing on real clients but in all levels uh, you will be doing clients in all three levels yeah okay great thank you and then uh katie if we can answer the question for the beauty side of things in terms of equipment costs mm -hmm. Equipment costs then, um, we've obviously got the two courses, so the uh, beauty therapy route and then the makeup route. It ranges really from around 300 to 350 pounds. Again, like I was said earlier, you can get a bursary if needed. Um, we usually hand these order forms out for you to order throughout the summer uh, when we invite you in for our taster day and you will order that in time to start in September. So within that kit, you'll have your professional tunic, your trousers, your professional shoes. You'll also have your beauty kit. It will contain all the equipment and products that you will need to carry out the course and also your makeup kit and set of your brushes as well. Excellent. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, doesn't look like we've got any other further questions at the moment. Um, so we'll wrap things up there because we've overshot the time ever so slightly. Um, for anyone watching either live or watching this later on on the recording, uh, if you've got any further questions, feel free to send them across to us. You can email us through the website, contact us on social media or, or ring the college, um, whichever is easiest for you. And your question can be passed on to the relevant tutor or course area and they can help answer your queries. Uh, thank you for watching um, and feel free to attend our other open events today. Thank you.